And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is once again your man Pop Mob, aka Doc Wildcard, bringing you Doki Doki Pure Smile, which I'm saving that Suki in this room. Another breakfast, another day at school, and another day at the Luigi Club. Everything was normal up to the Luigi Club, in fact, but what happened at the club in turn? Natsuki and I walk in and everyone agrees us as usual. We go to grab some fairy tale pit and as we do, Sarah walks up to us. You two are gonna start dating soon, right? Excuse me? Fussing <laughs> and everything. A- again, am I really that revolting, Natsuki? D- do you really have to be this way? Seriously? <laughs> and say what was reaction? <laughs> Come on, it's obvious you two like each other. What? I never told Teori about that part. You're not entirely wrong, but but what? Live a little. going? How am I talking to the person? I know about you too. Look, we just... Stop making excuses and tell like it is, Bob. We're gonna have a private conversation, understand? Everyone else nods their heads as we make way over to the hallway. Anyway, about us dating. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it, but can you really date someone you don't fully trust? Now or never, I'm thinking at first maybe this may be. I'm thinking at first that maybe this is too impulsive, but now I'm ready. Okay, now Suki, we. Idiot! What? I'm not sure what you expect me to say. Not that, I'm talking about how you were staying right outside the club room. Ah, I see. Let's head further down the hallway then. See, she's never happy, is she? Move through the hallway and then stop, hoping this spot is good enough. So, are you going to say or not? Of course. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap! Now sunk in what I'm doing. I mean, I knew what I was doing it, but I'm actually doing it. I remember when I first joined the literature club. I liked everyone there, but Natsuki stood out to me. Natsuki, you're a special person to me. Seriously. Natsuki's cold, yeah, but cold. She's she's Arctic. She's she's a, a mini iceberg. She can be sweet sometimes too. It's not as if everyone has a perfect personality anyway. You 
sucks. I think the way she acts is endearing, personally. Oh man, is that a lie for me? <laughs> I've liked you from day one. I don't know if you were in the same boat, but you still have feelings for me nonetheless. Kind of bold to be saying that kind of thing. Natsuki not only has similar interests as me, but she's broadened by her rises too. And if there's anyone I want to go through something new with, it's her. I'm not perfect, I admit. I am, though, as close to being perfect as possible because I'm an American and more to the point, a red, white, and blue blooded Philly son. Not to mention this would be my first relationship, so I might not be the perfect boyfriend material. And we're living together too. How awesome is that? It's a weird set of circumstances, sure. Or would it be weird? I'm not sure. In case you've forgotten, ladies and gentlemen, I use the term weird to differentiate between weird, which is a good thing. Because if not for people who are weird, like out of the ordinary, we never would have come this far as a race. And weird as in like stalkers and inviting exes to weddings like Ted Mosby did in that one episode of How I Made Your Mother. So I'm um, not sure which is supposed to be there. But at least we both got some happiness out of it. But that doesn't matter to me. My emotions are too strong for that to stop me. It wasn't pure happiness, of course. There were some uncomfortable sad times as well. I can't even imagine how bad Natsuki must have it for her trusting me to share. For her trusting me to share like that so hard after we build up a good friendship. Other people might be convinced we're already dating, which is understandable as we do have feelings for each other. What a journey this has been. Trying to think of saying, 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 trying to think of something clever to say there, but I just can't. About the band journey, oh well. When I first joined the literature club, I didn't think anything even close to this would be happening, but here we are. Why not make it official? I promise to make you the happiest girl alive. Oh, how cliche that sounds. <sighs> At least it's not a hyper romantic thing, though. Natsuki, will you be my girlfriend? Duh, of course. Jeez, you almost sound like. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's what I was saying. It was a bit too sappy, that last line. Jeez, you almost made that tag a match pose or something. Make your confession sure next time. I know, right? This is not how classic red, white, and blue bloody Dewey sons speak. <laughs> the blushing again. But I'll forgive you. I've liked you since you first came to the literature club after all. Said hit, but that doesn't come close to this question. Okay, are you going to make me sound like a sappy ass this entire time, writer? Writers, plural, perhaps, I don't know, but just anyway. I'm so relieved, so satisfied, so happy. Natsuki, both of you. I knew it! <laughs> oh. What the heck? We both turn around to see Sayori and Monica peeking out of the bridge and club doorway. Realizing they've been caught, they rush back inside. Well, we're not dying anytime soon. There will be another chance, I'm sure. 
again with this kind of face am i really that revolting that suki am i really that disgusting to you that you get embarrassed about this kind of thing really seriously jeez yeah i feel like we're gonna let you fuck really today honestly you I'll tell my crew me to leave the club early. I think she'll understand. I'm sure Liz Jacob will tease us playing tomorrow. I'm about ready to go home. Man, today's been weird. And weird, both. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Another flashback? Happy birthday, Natsuki. I know it's been a tough year, but here's hoping next year will be better. Something wrong? I don't want to talk about this. Not on my birthday. I think you already know. Yeah, I was right. That's who I thought all along. It was her dad speaking. I think you already know what I'm talking about, though, Dad. Not this again. That means I'm in a relationship then, right? I'm still processing it. Not only that I have a girlfriend, but the fact that my girlfriend is not Suki. It's bizarre for me to even think about. Why does it feel a bit high? It's great that... Come on, get up already! Hey, what's going on? Suki, what time is it? Why do you use the alarm clock anyway? It's not like you wake up that mu to it that much. Like I said, get up. It's almost time for school and I've already made it through breakfast. Alright, thanks that Suki. Go to the kitchen and see not to scream. All right, bacon, finally. Bacon is the king of meat. Since I'm your girlfriend now, I thought the meals I make for you should be a little less crappy. Really? That's rather nice of you, actually. I can be nice sometimes. Jeez, you could at least thank me for something. I'm sorry. Thank you, Natsuki. That's better. Let's eat that. We each eat our breakfast while sitting together, I'd like to mention, and head off to school after. Walking to the Lurch Club once we're done with our classes, we immediately met by Sabre. So? So what? You two are dating, aren't you? You have to be at this point. I was going to text you, but I had the feeling you weren't going to spill the beans that easily. <laughs> Get why it's such a big deal to you though. Did you make a did you make a bet or something? Because I've been cheating you two on, of course. That's what you go with your eyes. Yeah, we're dating. I expect that Suki to follow up with something rude, but So what? I'm proud of it. For sure, I didn't mean that was a bad thing. I know, but I don't see it as a big deal. I guess the fact that Bob and Mom actually got a girlfriend is surprising though. Oh, really? Really? That, 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 that's real nice of you, Nat. That's, that's real nice. Our first day as a couple and you're saying that kind of thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. What kind of talk is this? You should have self-confidence in yourself, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you, Sayori. Best friend in, 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 in these games and uh, saying this. Wow, we have Sayori agrees. I just think it's super cool, so congrats to you two. Thanks, Sayori. I'm happy about that too. You better be considering I'm not willing to be just anyone's girlfriend, you know. <laughs> That reminds me about this whole relationship thing I was What exactly were we supposed to do? I'm not exactly romantic if that's what you're thinking. Well, that's perfectly fine because neither am I. Like I said, classic red, white, and blue blooded Philly, son! We don't do romance here in the birthplace of the single greatest nation of all time. Again, ladies and gentlemen, look up on YouTube, Rocky proposes to Adrian. When he proposed, it was in the most unromantic way possible. Because he too, he's the epitome of a Billy son. As am I would like to think myself. Me neither. I'd probably end up embarrassing myself if I tried to be romantic. Indeed, it would be an embarrassment to all of Billy! Guess this won't be as easy as I thought. Not necessarily. I can walk over to my desk. Wouldn't it work better if one of us would walk? No, it would not, and I am, I refuse to say that. Sometimes unconventional relationships are the ones that work best. Not everyone has to f follow the standard expectation of a relationship. I think what's most important is that you're both happy. That's all that matters, isn't it? At least that's how I like to think about it. I want to feel there's something deeper to that statement, but it doesn't really matter either. Well, anyway, I wish you two the best of luck. I think you two make a cute couple, personally. <sighs> a cute couple. Really? I, I, I just know that she's going to get all flushed again. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, of course, there's that as well. For the last time, I'm not cute! Hmm. What does that mean I am? You're funny sometimes, I guess. I feel those things aren't quite the same. Besides, three sons like me, we ain't cute. Badasses. Anyway, I'll go get some fairy tale that's okay. Read fairy tale again that day, but this time it feels a lot different. It felt more personal. I noticed we laughed and smiled a lot more than usual. Can a simple label actually change things that much? Would it have been like this if we got into a relationship earlier too? Similar to what Monica said though, that doesn't matter much. What matters is us being happy. Frost makes that Suki happy and that thought makes me happy too. No. No. Okay, just no. How many times do I have to say it? that a classic red, white, and blue blooded Billy son is not romantic, alright? Ah, jeez. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? I would I would lose my boy this and, and and just that is the core of my being, my essence, my soul itself. And on that rather embarrassing note. 
I am going to end this particular chapter. If you dig what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, please consider subscribing. I always sub back fairly well.